three principal accompanists working with Mr. Lightfoot. There was a bass player by the name of Bill Lee, who was Spike Lee's dad. Uh, there was a guitarist by the name of Bruce Langhorn, who worked a lot with Bill Lee on an awful lot of different uh, different recordings. He, they worked a lot with me and Farina. And uh, the second, the, sorry, the third person who was an accompanist for them, his name was David Ray. He was 17 at the time. I've had occasion to meet David a number of times over the years. And the story I'm about to relate to you has pretty much changed every time I've heard him tell it. Uh, but in any instance, he had to go into the studio for some reason with a chaperone because he was 17. I don't know, it looks like musicians do bad things. I'm like, come on. And uh, he said that he was working on a tune called Railway Blues. <laughs> I need something on the front of this song. David, put that on it. And David, being 17 and innocent and wide-eyed, said, Oh, Mr. Lightfoot, it's in the wrong key. At which point, Gordon Lightfoot leaned over and said, Fix it. And uh, David did. And I tried for years to learn how to play this song, and I played it badly, the introduction, very, very badly, until a fellow who used to work at the Fol Folklore Center named Bob Turner showed me how it actually went. So I owe this to him. Um, this is one of the earliest, our generation, one of the earliest chauvinistic Canadian songs. It's called That's What You Get For Loving Me. Um, it's so much fun to play on guitar. There's a line in it that goes, uh, I've got a hundred more like you, so don't be blue, I'll have a thousand for I'm through. And it's at this point that I question as to whether or not the narrator would ever get a date in 2010. <laughs> He's certainly not going to date my daughter. <laughs> you get for loving me. I can't you hang around with any new love that I find. Oh, it is my stock in trade. I'm moving on. I won't think of you when I'm gone. That's 
such a get for love of me. Thank you. We'll give you a bottle of that and hot focus on John Yeager.